This is the modular closure system that I've used in the corset design. So how do you design something like this? Let's take a look at the first part today. Hi, I'm Brigitte from Baraprint and I'm here with more tips and inspiration of what kind of 3D printed fashion you can achieve at home. I'll walk you through the digital steps of creating this 3D printed closure. Let's go. is either creating or importing the outline curves of your 3D printed textile. The bell module is designed in such a way that it can hold two layers of 3D printed textiles at the same time. So in order to make sure that the 3D printed physical version overlaps nicely, I designed them overlap digitally. Once you've got the textiles in place, the next thing you want to do is create a line for the centers of the circles to sit on. And I'm using the divide tool in order to create evenly spread out circles. For connections that you don't necessarily need to take apart very often, so the seams of a garment for example, I use holes with a diameter of 2.5 millimeter. And for the parts where you do want to take it apart more often, like closures, I use circles with a diameter of 3 mil. Let's go from 2D to 3D. For most 3D printed textiles, I use 0.6 as the layer height, which is three printed layers, because I'm printing with a layer height of 0.2. I found that three layers is the perfect in-between of having a thin enough textile whilst not making it too fragile. You want to make sure that you're using a multiplication of whatever layer height you've set in your slicer program. So if you know you're going to be printing with 0.1, you can literally pick any height. But if you're just like me, printing with 0.2 layer height you would want to take a multiplication of that. Make sure to check the settings for your initial layer height because that one might differ from the layer height that you use throughout the rest of the print. Let's create the bell module next. The design is actually really easy because it's just a collection of cylinders and one sphere. The reason why I'm pushing the shapes on the side is because I want to start from the same height for every single shape so that I make sure that there's no part that is slightly lower than any of the other parts so that the first layer is completely flat. And that is the bell module finished. And here you can see digitally how it should be attached. I'm using the standard print profile that Recruise provides. If you don't know how to do that, check the link video. For this video, I'm just showing the setting differences between the bell module and the rest of the 3D printed textile. For what's called the infill technique, you use the settings under the infill menu. Quick note, this only works if you've set your top and bottom layer to zero, where you can play with both the infill density as well as the infill type. For the textile, you can keep it quite open. I wouldn't recommend going any lower than 10% though. For the bell module, you want to work with a very high infill density to make sure that the layers are attached very well because there will be a lot of force on this, especially if you are wearing something that's quite tight fitting. So we want to make sure that the bell module can handle that force without breaking. And lastly, if you're printing in TPU, TPU leaks quite a bit. So if you want to get a clean bell shape, you want to print at pretty much half the speed you print at normally. Thanks so much for watching. If you like more tips and inspiration for stuff that you can do on your home 3D printer, then like and subscribe. See ya.